What's up Trophy Hunter, before we're gonna make one more look back to 2020, I wanna wish you a happy new year and the most important thing is stay safe and healthy. Before we start with the video, one more thing, you can now become a channel member. It works similar to Patreon, I set it at the lowest possible price. So now let's start with the easy platinums of December 2020. The first game is also the most expensive one. Twin Mirror is a psychological thriller game, the gameplay is similar to Life is Strange. If you enjoyed the Life is Strange series, you should definitely check out Twin Mirror. The next game is Infliction Extended Cut. The game has been available for a long time now, the reason why I add this game is because there is now a PlayStation 5 version. The PS5 version supports 4K and also has a separate trophy list. If you already own the PS4 version, you still have to pay for it, there is no free upgrade. Nine Witches is a point and click adventure game. I would say that anyone familiar with the point and click adventure genre should already have a pretty good idea what you expect from the game. The gameplay is mostly built around puzzle solving and exploration. The next game on my list is called Carto. This is a charming adventure game wrapped around a unique world altering puzzle mechanic. There are 10 chapters and nothing is really missable because you can clean up trophies via chapter select. Another month, another Artifacts Monday game, Persian Nights 2, is this typical Artifacts Monday game with the typical trophy list. Do not skip any mini games or hidden object puzzles and find all collectibles. The next game is called Shady Part of Me, which is another platform puzzle game. The game sends you on an emotional and dreamlike journey. Next game is Catch, which is another puzzle platformer game. The Platinum requires to get 100% in each level. It sounds tough, but it isn't, because there is a cheat code that allows you to get 100% on each level just by entering a code. So basically to get the Platinum you just have to enter a cheat code 50 times. The next game is called My Hidden Things and is a mixture of a Wish and Know and Hidden Object Adventure game. You have not only to search for objects, but also combine them to get the ones on your list. I also have some good news for all Pauhi fans. There is a new game called Roundout. But the bad news are there is no Vita version, only PlayStation 4. Next game is Twin Robots, the Ultimate Edition. Keep in mind the Ultimate Edition is only available on PlayStation 5. Of course there's also a PS4 version of the game called just Twin Robots. Basically they are almost the same games. And yes the PS4 version has a separate trophy list. The next easy platinum game on my list is called When the Past Was Around. It's a point and click adventure game. And like every other point and click adventure game very easy if you use a walkthrough. The next two easy games on my list are Halloween Candy Break Head to Head and Christmas Break. They are a lot easier and faster than the previous titles so it's possible to get the Platinum in 30 minutes. And another good thing about the games is they have a lot of trophies. Christmas Break has 38 trophies and the Halloween Candy Break Head to Head has 40 trophies. Next one is Spirit Arena, this is a twin stick shooter and the goal of the game is to defeat waves of enemies. Trophy wise a very straightforward game, just play 20 games, cast 2000 spells or defeat 5000 enemies. Next one is Mia's Picnic, it's an easy breezy puzzler that makes collecting fruit a fun and rewarding experience. Instead of killing monsters you collect fruits. And trophies of course. Next game is Cowley's Treasure, this is an adventure game with puzzle elements. The game is very short, only 6 levels. It's possible to play through the game in about 20 minutes. There's one trophy that requires to beat the game without dying. This is a little bit tricky but you can use a backup save after completing a level. This will reduce the difficulty drastically. Next one is Freddy's Spaghetti and almost a must buy for trophy hunters. First of all the game has more than 50 trophies. But what more important is the game is cross by from PS4 to PS5. So basically you can get over 100 trophies just for $5. And yes it's possible to buy the PS4 version on PS5 so it's not necessary to own a PS4. Next game is Drunken Fist which is a very easy beat em up game. You only have to complete 3 levels to get the platinum. The game has a very strange mechanic because it's possible to pee on people. If that isn't worth the money I don't know what it is. And the last game on my list which is the easiest and fastest platinum is called Autumn's Journey. 
it's a very easy and short visual knower game. So those were the easiest Platinums of December 2020. If you have any questions about a specific game, let me know it in the comment section below. Thanks for the attention guys, happy new year, see you in my next one.